Well, I am happy to report the Cake Boss is on the mend and ready to create again. Buddy Velastro, how are you? Oh, doing good. How you making out? <sighs> doing good. Let's see the wing. Let's see the hands. Yeah, we're getting there, you know, so I'm getting some movement back. You know, I don't have all my dexterity or all my strength, but essentially, you know, a metal rod basically went right through the palm of my hand <sighs> and it was pretty thick. Yeah. So the fact that I can still do this, um, I, I just feel like a lucky guy, you know? Can you lift up your hand again? Because it, I mean, it looks like you can see a hole, right? That's a hole right there. Yeah, that's exactly, that's where the hole was. And, um, you know, it, like these two fingers here, I have no, it's totally numb in, in these two fingers. On the outside it is, but the inside is all numb. Yeah. So uh, we damaged some nerves. They put them back together and we'll see what happens. When, when I first heard about your accident and the way it happened, it was such a freak thing the way it happened. But the thing is, is I've done it a, a hundred times. It was just like one of those things like you could never see coming. And then my hand was kind of caught between this fork and then it got impaled. And then it kind of, you know, after it was stuck, it just kept going back and forth. And then my kids actually had to cut me out and unscrew me. Um, actually, this Wednesday, I have a special coming up on TLC that kind of documents exactly what happened. You were already in the process of filming. So you had the crew already there? Basically, yeah, they were there that night. Oh. after it happened okay so your kids so. had to your kids had to cut your hand out of the machine uh I, I can't even imagine how traumatic that had to have been for them right not only traumatic but they were just so brave that first week that i was kind of in the hospital and stuff they were really nervous but then when i came home and i kind of reassured them that i was going to be okay um you know at, at first i thought that they needed therapy you know i mean it was a really traumatic traumatic thing yeah when the accident first happened did you think this is the end of my career yeah you know honestly i was so mad at myself for the first two weeks and um you know i had to get back to work because if i didn't get back to work i would just drove myself crazy and i've been working hard and i've been working good and you know, every week I'm able to do more things. So I'm happy with that. Are you ever going to reset the bowling machine again? You know what? I'm never going to go do it myself, <laughs> but I, I am determined to bowl a strike. <laughs> so tell me what's happening with, with your shop and with your, with your shows and everything. When are you going to get back in the swing of it? To be honest with you, I've been working last night. Um, me and my kids slept at my at my bakery we were so busy we've been going we finished like 12 30 last night and uh we were up at five in the morning getting orders out and stuff um the bakeries are slow right now but we have a lot of online shipping we shipped out we're going to ship out probably 12 to 15 thousand orders today thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video